The first day I got to university, I sat in my halls room all on my own and took the inevitable rite of passage that was always headed my way. I downloaded a gay hookup app and one that I can't name for compliance reasons, but I think you know it. My mum called me, crying in the car after dropping me at a campus in Harrow only 15 minutes from our actual house, to say she was f***ing gutted, babe. It feels like my f***ing aunt's been f***ing ripped out. <laughs> Which you'd say if I moved out of your house too. As I laid on my bed, I became what is known in the world of show business as a homosexual. And it all started with one man. And to this day, I do not know his name, his age or his nationality. But I do know he has a series of birthmarks on the base of his cock that looks remarkably like the EU flag. It was the first dick pic I was ever sent. And in this embryonic stage of homosexuality, I thought, oh my God, I've been sent a dick pic. What an honor. Until soon enough, I realized it was the universal gay language for hello, how are you? Now, when people would ask me for my dick pic, I responded very politely by blocking them and then my new hall's mate, Georgia, she came in my room once and just went, bomb off that app and come gay clubbing with me. She was actually from the Midlands, but I can't do that accent. One night, me and Georgia stayed in and we just Googled the nearest gay clubs in a 20 mile radius. And then, sorry, Alex, do you mind maybe in this bit, if we maybe play something a bit poppier, maybe a bit more emotive, like, I don't know. Uh, imagine I'm like auditioning for the X Factor and I'm doing this quite sort of intense piece to camera about I'm here today for my nan. I'm doing this all for my nan. Could you do something a bit like that? Now, it's quite scary going to your first gay club because the vast majority are all called things like savage or envy or revenge. And I'm just like, why not be called nice to each other or be less vain or who cares if my t-shirt's from River Island? They actually do some quite good stuff. So one Saturday, me and Georgia downed a whole bottle of white Zinfandel each and got on the last train into London. We queued for two hours outside heaven and then got rejected because Georgia had a knife in her bag from a charity bake sale we'd done earlier in the day. We raised 18 quid for Coney 2012 and I don't really regret a single second of it. But feeling defeated by not getting in, we wandered the streets of Soho until we found Freedom Bar. And with that name conceptually being something we believed in more than heaven or revenge, in we went. Sorry, Alex? Do you mind if we actually play something now that's a little bit sexier, a bit more raunchy, a bit seductive, like... I don't know, let's imagine that your mum's just died and I'm walking into the hospital to support your dad and then eventually me and him form a romantic bond, partly because of his grief, but also my innate sexual energy, and then I become your new step-parent. Could you do something that sexy? Now, I was wearing a white shirt, far too small, blue jeans, tight around the arse, and black boots. I was a burgundy lanyard away from a job in prayer. And this bearded Scottish bloke came up to me at the bar, let's call him Braveheart for brevity, and he was holding 20 quid and he wasn't wearing Crocs. In 2012, my only type was men who didn't wear Crocs. And he said, hey, my friend over there thinks you're cute. Do you want to come over for a drink? And I looked over at this table of trendy bear blokes all wearing fleeces and gorgeous queer women all wearing fleeces, and I thought, f*** it. So I popped to the toilet to powder the inside of my nose. I texted my friend Georgia to say I'd be busy and then I went back and Braveheart said, oh my friend, she's over there dancing. And I thought, she? I could do a she. I could try a she. And then Braveheart grabbed my arm, stared at my 18 year old face and said, you are a lesbian, right? We stared at each other. He apologised. He bought me a hot dog. And then I went back to his. <laughs>